you father we thank you this morning we are excited that you've helped us to see the first Sunday of this great year we are grateful we are grateful last year nobody died Satan tried to kill one of us he said no he will survive we thank you thank you for the victories thank you for the battles we won thank you for the blessings the weddings children all you've done we say thank you you said this is our year of overflow. Father, give somebody mass car. Give somebody mass children. Give somebody mass contract. Give somebody mass favor. Let somebody testify this year that you have given him or her overflow. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Bless us through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the first message for the year. And I would like you to receive it with excitement. Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. In the scripture, two, are, two persons are my favorites. I love listening, reading Joshua. I love also reading the man they call David. Joshua chapter 1. We read from verse 1 to 9. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun. Moses, minister, say, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the soul of your feet shall tread upon, that I've given unto you, as I said unto Moses, from the wilderness of this Lebanon, even unto the river Great, the river Ephraites, all the lands of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, towards the great to going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of their life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong 
and of good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swore unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the laws which Moses my servant commanded thee. For turn not from it to the right or to the left, that thou mayest prosper in whatsoever thou doest. This book of the Lord shall not depart of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate on it day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is in there. For then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Let's read verse 9 together. One to go. Have not I command thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, and be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whether so thou goest. I will be talking to you in the next few minutes, the cross and the crown of great men. The cross and the crown of great men. Greatness is free. But not everybody can be great. God may give a promise to you, but God will not force you to get there. When you see great men and you celebrate them, don't celebrate a man without knowing the success, the secret of his success. Don't celebrate a man. In sons and daughters meeting, when Prophet Jeremiah said, let me for the first time show you my knees. And when Prophet Jeremiah removed his trousers, we saw his knee, we saw greatness in his knee. He said, I kneel down to pray for hours. He said, I pray and fast for 21 days on my knees, crying to God for this power all of you are enjoying and celebrating. So before you celebrate a man, know that there is something he or she have gone through that you like. And you must find that the secret of a man before you celebrate him. Amen? God spoke to Joshua, I've given you the land. God can give you a promise, but that promise can still fail. If you don't take a step to get there. God gave Joshua a great promise. I've given you the land. I've given you everything. But God now said to him, now be strong. And contend with them. And fight for your right. And at a point, Joshua became discouraged. And look at the statement of the Lord in verse 9. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong. Now God is angry with Joshua. He said, have I not said be strong? He shouted for him. I said be strong. Be strong. So, the cross to greatness is not easy. But when you have succeeded, you will not begin to enjoy the crown. So, in life, everyone is ordained to be very great. But only a few become great due to the battles they face in life. Many people face the battles in their front and they say, I can't bear it again. They run away from that battle. You are in that marriage. The marriage is cracking. Don't give up. Fight for your right. That marriage will work. You are doing a business. The business is collapsing. Don't give up. Fight. Your business will stand back again. God will show you you are today and you are future. But God will not show you the way to get to that place. If God told them that on their way to the other side, there will be rest sea, there will be storm, they wouldn't have crossed. Jesus called his disciples and said to them, let us cross over to the other side. There is something good in the other side. But he did not tell them on their way to the other side, there will be storm. When they are going to the other side, number one, a man that the whole community could not shame him. The Bible says even when they shame him, he will cut the chain and move out. Such man first confronted them and they conquered him. When they crossed, as they were going, a storm came. Terrible storm came that the Bible said the water filled the boat. And the disciples were confused. And they went and asked Jesus. Look at the Bible said the water filled the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. What a mystery. That means what you are facing, God is aware. That means that battle you are facing, the Lord is with you. He said, I will not leave you, not forsake thee. Even if you go through the fire, I will be with thee. Even if you go through the water, to know that means any battle you are facing, God is there with you. The water covered the boat. And Jesus was in the boat. Say after me, this battle I faced last year, this year, I will conquer them. Say it one more time. This year, I will conquer them. I will win this battle. This fight will not win me. If you must be great in life, if you must be great in life, you must be ready to face battles, attacks everywhere. 
you must face all manner of things. <laughs> December was one of the worst year in my life. This past December. The kind of battles and attacks I received was so much. Every great breakthrough have great devil. Are you hearing me? Oh Lord, give me five million. There is a five million demon waiting for you. When you are praying for one thousand, there is a demon of one thousand attacking you. Are you hearing me? So at every stage of your life, there are fresh devil. That's why yesterday walk us we said, Oh Lord, every fresh enemy deal with them for us. Can you stand up and say every fresh enemy this year for my life? Deal with them for me, Lord. Do you know why you need to pray? Sit down. The Bible said they must surely gather. They must. Whether you fast or you pray or whatever you do, they must surely gather, but not by me. For anyone that gather for my sake shall fall for thy sake. Then he said in verse 17, in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, then no weapon. Somebody said no weapon. I am motivating you this morning because enemies will arise. They will fight you. Some of you have been trekking. They are believing you. The reason why they believe you to trek is because there is a level of demon assigned to you. When you buy a car, a fresh one will come. But I am talking to 22 people. Whether you like it or not, any enemy that set up themselves against you shall come down for your sake. If you say amen, you receive the miracle. So they will surely gather, but not by me. They will surely gather. One of the road of greatness, one of the cross of greatness is called loneliness. Loneliness. In Genesis chapter 32 verse 24, Genesis 32 verse 24, the Bible said, and Jacob was left alone. When you want to be a great man, you will be lonely. Everyone that is great today went through loneliness. We had their real helpers left them. I sent text to one of my friends. This is my friend that can give me 10 million without scratching his head. I gave him prophecy. I gave him prophecy in UP Sandfield. He came to church on Friday and I called him and said, Young man, come here. God, I should tell you, get ready for wealth. Get ready for wealth. Within a few months, he got a contract in millions. And he's a wise man. From there, God started to bless him. Only that young man, I'm not supposed to look for money in my life. He was a pauper. He has no job. He has nothing. God used me to raise him. And I met him to give me just two million. A few days ago, he said, I will give you. He said, play with I've been calling you to break my call. And I sent him a text this morning. I said, listen to me. Even if you refuse to help me, God is too faithful. Now, off my line. Two million is just like what he gives to people to go and drink now. And it is me, God used to raise him to where he is. Do you know prophecies has power to confront confrontations? Prophecy has power to force what's supposed to happen next year, happen this year. So a prophet can deliver you with a spoken word. I speak to his life and God change him. And I told him, my friend, if we don't refuse to do it, leave it. God will do it. So loneliness, when you want to be a great man, the road to your greatness is lonely. All your helpers will disconnect from you. All your helpers will abandon you. Even those that you help to rise, they will forsake you. Listen, at the greatest men are men that go through the highest oppression. Whenever God wants to lift you, don't put your trust in any human being. Put your trust in God. And it is only God that will lift you. Because every great man's destiny is act activated by the blessing of God. And because God I don't want to share my glory with anybody. If there are people that will take the glory on the process of your destiny, God will not cut them off. So you will not look up to him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If people you trust did not run away from you at the point you need them most, then their dreams are small. Anytime your dreams are big, you want to achieve greatness, you want to be great, enemies will now cause those that are supposed to help you to disconnect from you. Number two, surrounded problems upon you. Number two, every great man must know that you'll be surrounded with problems. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6 to 7, the Bible says from verse 1, 
they went and invaded Ziglag. Enemies went and took all David's property, took his wife, took everything that belongs to David, and left David frustrated. When David came to Ziglag, everything he had was taken. And the Bible said they begin to cry. David was crying, the people were crying. David was crying, the people were crying. All our properties have been taken off. And as they were crying, the people said, don't cry anymore. We were in the house. David said we should follow him. It is David that made us to lose our property. And the Bible said they begin to attack David. <laughs> they begin to curse David. And they, as they were oppressing David, look at what David did. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. And David was greatly distressed. For the people speak of stoning him. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and his for his daughters. But David encouraged himself. In the Lord. Do you see that? And David did what? Encouraged himself in the Lord. As a great man. As a man have a great vision. Great aspiration. That want to become great. You must know. That problems. People will bring their problem. When they know you have problems. I was surprised. When my child was sick. And we are running to FMC. Even in the FMC. Members are calling me to pray for their own children. Then I know that I'm, I'm, I never see anything. As a great man, they know you have problem. They still want to bring problem to you. As a great man, I'm looking for 1.5 million Nazi Tuesday, 6 o'clock. Yet, members are sex for house rent. Members are still asking for house rent. Still calling for money. Still calling for food. Still calling for school fees. Still calling for this. Telling me that on Monday, my school will open. Pastor, please help my children's school fees without asking whether I've paid my three children's school fees. <laughs> I also have three children who go to school. On Monday, they do not believe that my children are supposed to go to school. They believe that I must have paid their, I should pay their children's own. So for it to be great, people will know you have problem, yet they will still bring more problem to you. They know that you are confused, yet because they believe that you are a problem solver, they still bring their problem to you. A prophet of God was very sick at the point of death. He was so sick, a very great man of God was very sick, very sick, and he was in the house for more than four days. The man was in the house, sick, very sick. Early morning, he woke up in the morning just for him to just go out to take fresh breeze. They kept more than four people that are sick in the door, waiting for him to pray for them. The man said, I'm going to ask for this, pray for us first. They see the man of God, but it's, it's a healing minister. You know, sometimes you are a doctor cannot heal himself. Are you hearing me? God, that is how God is. That is why we must fear God. He's a great prophet healing the sick. But he could not heal himself. Was sick at the point. When he opened the door, sick people are in the front. When he laid hands on them, they said, Thank you, Jesus, I'm ill. All of them became ill in his front. They left. The man was still sick. They rushed him to the hospital. In the hospital bed, they still bring sick people for him to pray for them. <laughs> he was in the hospital lying down sick. They still bring sick people lying down for him to just touch them. And it was when the man was touching them, God was healing him. After he free prayed for them, God spoke to him. I tested you and you pass. You will never know sickness again. Yeah. Give the Lord a clap offering. They know I'm looking for 1.5 million. If you see my phone, text messages. This morning, somebody came, somebody coming. My family, everybody is poor. Please help me. I said, Me too. God, just bring me out. He'll bring you out. <laughs> Looking for 1.5 million. I tell him, Your family is poor. Praise God. <laughs> Number three, for you to be a great man, you will experience constant opposition within and outside. Constant opposition. People will oppose your vision. This morning, I will listen to Prophet Jeremiah when he said, When God spoke to him, let us go to Mercy City. Those that are around him said, This place we can't go. The place is filled with water. We can't go. They oppose him. It is them that discourage him. It is them that told him we can't make it. It's 
so much we can't take it. Opposing. One of the members came and said to me, Daddy, this hotel that we are going, the place is too big. I said, because you are too small to see what God wanted to see. Who told you it's too big? He said, the place is too big. It's too big. Oh. The, the company is too big. Oh. I said, Ta! can you have family for all come out here? When I'm thinking of taking over the government house, When great men are talking, people get offended. Why are they talking to big things? Why are they behaving like this? No. No. Internal enemies, they will discourage you. Don't go. It's too high. Don't go. Don't go. No. Faith. Great men don't allow opposition to stop them. As a leader, anything you do, they will find fault in you. Anything you do, they will talk. You do well, they talk. You don't do well, they talk. So you must know that on the way to your greatness, you will see all manner of opposition. All manner. You give into give. You no give, you no give. Why is pastor assisting people like this? Why? You assist, you refuse assist. Why is he not assisting people in the church? They will fight you. They will oppose you. So you must be ready to confront all your confrontations. Number four, surrounded with men of personal interest. Every great man must know that people that will come around you are people that are always interested of themselves than you. They want to be satisfied than you. I was in Port Harcourt, one of my pastors working with me. We just did a program, Marriage Connection. That the marriage con was booming. And we raised some money. The money is not up to a million, but we raised some money for our crusades. Do you mean the, on Sunday, that was on Friday, Sunday we free service. He said, so he came to the house and saw me. One girl called Shinasa. You know this fee they call Atabela. What they call? Tilapia B? The biggest size. One is that, that time she bought one, one, one thousand naira. She brought about three or four. Big, big ones. Just bought it in a creek road and gave to my wife. My wife now called them to be big size. And I called myself, God come. Now two of us they walk or come up shop. He came and saw the big fish inside the plate. In the verse. He verse. Just get up. Just people are wicked though. The guy just can't okay, go stand somewhere like this. Come, let's eat now. Some belly food. Now, what happened was that the past Sunday when he came, somebody gave us goat meat. You know? <laughs> it was like, only me, they enjoyed the thing. He, was, he refused to eat the food, he was angry. Then, I, after then, he said, I want to talk to you. He said that uh, God just spoke to him that yesterday night that they should be doing tazi on the road. I said, oh, that is good. If there's no second, do Tazi. He said, but uh, the money is not complete. Uh, if I can borrow in 300,000. I said, me, whenever I drive Keke, you want to drive moto? Because I know you will not pay. So God give me wisdom. I said, let us see how it goes. Before Friday, I don't care and go buy instrument. Buy speakers through the church. Buy instrument. Something happened. When on Sunday I said, praise the Lord. See what God has done for us. All the members were excited. Praise the Lord. You know, talk. Just the frown I say, you're your own. Are you hearing me? He has personal interest to succeed before the church. There are some people that when they come into your life, all they want is them, 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 them. If you help the other person, don't help them. Hey, you are your enemy. Everything is them. So you want to be great, you must have this type of people at your mind that how to please everybody equal. And then number five, constant pressure to commit sin. For you to be a great man, you must know that you will try your best to overcome sin. Why? Because sin will call you. I saw a man in Zimbabwe, when I saw it in Facebook, in teeth, long past the mouth. Have you seen it? You've not seen it? 
His teeth were so long that the mouth reached here. Teeth come out like this. Happily wedded. He is so much, he is so rich in Zimbabwe. Very wealthy man. They call him the ugliest man on earth. From Zimbabwe. The more so ugly that when monkeys see monkeys, they dodge. But if you see the wife he married, class. When you get money, even if you like, money can change in bedside. You don't know? In bedside, that speed is coming out of his mouth, moving like this. Put one million dollar in his account. In bedside, will fear. The speed in his mouth will dry. Ask me why. Ask me why. why? The speed will not dry by miracle crusades. It will be dry by young girls. They will kiss all the speed out of his mouth. Girls will kiss him until his speed will flash off. The reason why you are life is you don't have money. That makes you the do guy. Only poor people start shit. Poor people. I have a friend in Porta in village that will put tissue paper in his bag like this. How do I do it? Masokara dear. Let me show. Let me show. Okay? Fold your anki. Fold like money. Do like you will now do like four, five anki. Do like it's like five hundred dollar pattern. And you need it well. Eh? Now use money to put on top. I've never seen a wicked friend like that. When you want to buy something like this, because you are seeing the back is full. <laughs> no money inside. I have two five hundred. You do like this, like this, like this. Pure. You say, ah, this guy with money. The rest is tissue paper. <laughs> my wife no love. My wife no love me is because you are broke. When you have money, your wife will love you. Imagine now you have 500 million in your account. Will your wife divorce you? Have you ever seen a very rich man, wife, say, I'm divorcing you? Even if she divorces him today, she's coming back in the evening. Family members will say, You can't divorce him. Divorce him for where? Ta, go back. No, be so. It is when you are poor that even when the wife have not decided to divorce you, family members come and say, I divorce him now. <laughs> she said, We'll endure. They said, Divorce him. We can't take it anymore. When you are blessed, you will see sin. Sin will be running around you. It is at that time that friends want you to drink. Most of you, when you don't have money, you are managing mineral. Now, God has blessed you. You have started drinking beer. Because your friends told you that you have to meet up. You have to package up. Most of you inside your fridge, there is ragolis concom there. Not, not water. Those ragolis are kai kai or, or drinks. Your friends tell you, take small for the stomach's sake. I see there's too much problem before. When you get money, you will see sin. Guess we know you are married. They still want to sleep with you. Friends will tell you you need to have boyfriend, girlfriend. Are you listening to me? So for you to be a great man, you must know that sin will call on you. Genesis chapter 39, verse 7 to 12. And Joseph said to her, I cannot do this against God. Why? He saw his greatness. Now, after you have gone through the cross, you are going to enjoy the crown. What are the joy of the crown? Number one, having men you did not call will follow you. Moment you succeed, people that you didn't call will start to run around you. Who need that kind of miracle this year? Look at you calling your brother, they didn't pick the call. Even when they see you are calling, they allow the phone ring, 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 off. Because you don't get anything to give them. But when God bless you, the moment you flash them, even at 12 o'clock, they will go and buy the church and call you back. Not be so. If today the Governor Dixon flash you, wouldn't you call him back? 
Ernest. Who do you call him? <laughs> Even if it's two o'clock and the credit is in Pasha, you go try go. Flashing you, call me back for contract. You go run. But when you don't have anything, you will be calling them. They will not accept. Moment God bless you. People you don't call will start to run around you. Imagine now that God wants to bless mercy of God church. You will see people coming everywhere now. Because if you see our hotel, you go peace. Our hotel, you go see our TV. Next Sunday, we're going to show you our hotel. If you see, if you see the kind of shea in our hotel, even those that don't know me, they will call me. Hello, who are you? Uh, my name is uh, John Peter. I don't know you. Ah, I'm your elder brother. We shall have but have blessing, have them about love on the Mountain. You don't know me till now. I'm your mother, brother. As your mother, when your father died, I'm the one that carried his head. You don't know me. When they finish describing, you go discover their brothers. I pray for you now. That is how they will call you to introduce themselves to you after this meeting. If you say amen, receive. receive. Now look at my PA now. And pocket dry. When God don't, when we don't reach here now. Hello? I want to see daddy. He says he's busy. That don't go to shook money from the pocket. Are you hearing me? In the next few months time. That don't go to shook money from the pocket. Are you hearing me? Now most of them want to see me just with dry hand with prayer. Next month now to see me go hard. The kind of security I want to take, eh? Their chest is like this. God forbid. I can't do that to you. Amen. One thing about me, say Mr. So I had to pity myself. Even when the protocol said, and I mean they come up myself. I am waiting. <laughs> Protocol will say that is tired. Now when they come down, okay, what is the problem? <laughs> I don't even know myself. I can't even do that to you. You are too special. You have suffered with me to this level. I can't do that to you. I have never seen a member call. I didn't call back. I have never off my phone for members. I pick call. Only members I will give my official line. Next month I'll give you my this line so it will be off. I'll give you my real number. If you say, man, God answer us now. Amen. Somebody saying, I call that if you see now, you be God. Number two, you will be receiving free gifts without begging. The moment God bless you, we will be giving you gifts. That is where somebody is going after this service. Where people will be giving you free gifts. If you are the person, I receive it three times. Again. Again. The moment God bless you and give you the crown after you have gone through the process, you will be having constant inflow of resources. Constant inflow of resources. What does it mean? People will bring in their good ideas, their good experiences, and you'll be making the money. There are many rich men today, they don't go to work. They just sit down in the house. And after every month ending, managers are coming from the left, from the right, coming to give them account of where they work. Because this man sits down in the house and sponsor the project. And he sponsors 51%. He becomes the chairman of the company. Who is that person that will be in that category? That beginning from this month of January, you will not be receiving money from government again. But every corner, left, right, front, back, receive. People want to do something, they will come and meet you. And they will bring their own idea. Then you give them money to do the business. They will not give you a percentage. Excess money. Excess inflow of resources. Number four. God will become your fighter. The moment God lifts you, He will become your fighter. 
they will rise up but they will fail they will gang up they will scatter the moment you go to the top nothing stop you again that is where you are going thank you Jesus the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies and my foes come upon me to eat up my flesh they stumble and fall they stumble and fall though an oath should encamp against me my heart shall not fear though war shall rise against me in this will I be confident look at verse thank you Jesus look at verse 11 he said teach me that part O Lord and lead me in the plain path because of my enemies deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies hey when God begin to fight for you your enemies are in trouble they will rise up but they will scatter they will gang up but you backfire why God is not fighting for you the moment God begin to fight for you all your enemies are in danger Number five, sorrow free lifestyle. Moment God bless you, every blessing of God have no sorrow. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord is make it rich, it had no sorrow. Every blessing of God have no sorrow. It is only when you get blessed that you will know that the blessing of God is real. Number six, excess favor. Excess favor. The moment God lifts you, you'll be experiencing excess favor. What is excess favor? It means everything you do or you touch must work. Everything you do or you touch must work. You are selling pure water, you are succeeding. You are selling pepper, you are succeeding. Anything you do, you are succeeding. A woman was selling only granite. Sorry, a man was selling only granite in UST. Only granite, he bought a car. Just granite in a bottle. He bought a car. A woman was selling ogu leaf at mile four. She has bought a car. Ogu leaf and a tama. Only ogu leaf and a tama. She has bought a car. So when God bless it comes on you, excess favor. Thank you, Jesus. And then finally, covered mistake lifestyle. Covered mistake. If God bless you and He said, please, can you bring that gather for me? Instead of saying that letter, they will, they will bring it. Anything you do, they for, for they forsake it. Eh? Yeah, you're a young man. Fist, bring that fist. They laugh. But if you are poor, say bring the cell, they will correct you. No be fist, not fish. Eh? You are drinking Gary as a big man, they send just the wet his throat. Poor man is hungry, the cash. I see how they are turning the thing now. You are trekking to a cake in the center of the stroll. <laughs> Poor man, you know, get money. Every mistake, they cover it. You walk on the road with that iron in your cloth, you say, style. Poor man, you know, you say, go iron your cloth. <laughs> you wear jump up and move on the road, they say, style. You get money now. Even when you are doing mumu things, they, they laugh. Covered mistake. You are a wish in the village, oh. Now God has blessed you in the sea and I governor. They said, leave him. Now that I know get money, I give you wish. Now God don't bless <laughs> Can I pray for you? Every mistake the enemy has been marking against you. Because when today's service, it is covered forever. Covered mistake means anything that you did that people are talking about, because of the blessing of God present, they overlook it. They forgo it. They say, let him go. Leave it for him. Leave it. Leave it. I'm going to ask you to pray for this last one. Lord, cover my mistakes. And give me fresh start. This year, cover my mistakes. Let people not see my mistake again. The thing that they saw, that they said, this is what my problem. Let them not see it again. Will you pray for yourself? Say, Father, because of your overflow blessing, that I'm to receive today. Cover my mistakes. Cancel my errors. Open your mouth and pray for yourself now. Cover my mistakes.
cancel my errors. The thing that people know about me, let them not know it again. Let them forgo it. Let them forget it. Rapapa Sokoto. Yezeka Zuzuza. Yekozo Kozo Kozo. Yakapa Kasarakate. Pray, pray, pray. Every accusation of the devil against you, let it be covered. Every accusation of the devil against you, oh Lord, be covered, be covered. Rikapara sososa, hey, parase manda, eko sakata, rakapapa, pasekete, eko zizaza, raparada. Every mistake I have made in the past, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, be covered, be covered, be covered, be covered, be covered, be covered, be covered. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. One prayer I want you to pray. Oh Lord, seal my mistake now. Give me a new beginning. This is my year of mass overflow. Everything I have done in the past. Some of you have four children or three children with men who have abandoned you. Some of you are doing something you are frustrated. You are seeing yourself. Is it the thing I did last year at this time in my life? Now, close it. Say, my God, I have made mistake in the past. I don't want to see it in my life again. Lift up your two and say, Father, give me second chance. Open your mouth, pray for yourself. Ike sototo, rapa, kata, pata. Hey, so go, so go, sasa. Pray, 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 pray. Pray for yourself. Second chance. Second chance in business. Second chance in business. Jesus, saka, basata. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Can I pray for you today? Whatever is called mistake that the devil is using to accuse you, by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is hereby wiped off now. Receive second chance to go forward. Your amen is soon looking for my trouble. Say, receive. For crossover, I was crying. I said, Lord, I want to obey my father call. What will you do for me next year? God said, Next year, for you to obey Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fefei, abandon your members to come and do crossover here, my son. You will see overflow. Now, watch it, watch it. Second week of February, we are going to start using canopy. I'm telling you, I've seen the overflow. Before the end of February, nobody will pack car on that side again. Not just numbers and members overflow. You are overflow financially, materially, maritally, academically, politically, socially. It's your by release. Man. Receive. Rakapaka Sokoto. Receive. I prophesy to you. This year is the year God will reward you all the years you have wasted. Said all the years the canker worms and the caterpillars have eaten. God will restore. This is why you receive. I receive. Receive. I receive. As I have decreed, so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a clap of. Praise.